Welcome assassins to the ninth elusive target of the game. This is Owen Protagonist Wagner, also known as the Black Cap. That's gonna make quite a long title for my YouTube video, but that's okay. They've been pretty secretive with this one and very cryptic as to how they revealed him. But let's watch the information movie and see if we can learn anything. Good evening, 47. Your target is a black hat hacker who goes by the handle Protagonist. He is currently in Paris with his longtime partner known as White Cap. The two have been contracted by Dahlia Mogolis to execute a high profile hack tonight. No current pictures of the target exist, but he makes use of the hacker alias Protagonist, and he often references a particular brand of cheap fruit jam available in Alabama. You will have to use this information to identify him. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. So still pretty mysterious, let's do a little bit more reading. Protagonist is a shadowy legend in the modern world of information warfare. A brilliant computer security engineer, his unique skills have been linked to data theft and high-profile intrusions against multinational corporations, as well as nation-states for several years. ICA files link him to a recent series of lesser-known hacks in support of the Iago network. It is not clear whether he is working for Iago for profit, or whether spymaster Dahlia Margolis has some leverage over him. Protagonist has a long-term partner known as Whitecap, though this individual is not a target. Additionally, intelligence points to the target having a weakness for a particular brand of American-style jam, most likely acquired while at university in the United States. Let's kill him. Let's do this. Welcome to Paris, 47. I've been unable to gain any information about the whereabouts of the target. However, there are reports of sudden mobile phone outages on the upper floors of the palace. Good hunting. So I started up here in the attic because that's where the hackers have set up shop. And I brought with me some fatal poison because I'm going to kill the target by poisoning his Alabama jam. That's the way to do it. Now there are a ton of extra security up here so you do need to be careful. And the hackers are actually in the room where the vampire magician costume usually is. So let me take out this guy first of all. Now in order to access the room, which is right here, you do need a key card that the bodyguards carry on them. So either one of these two that I subdued, they both drop the key card that I will need to access the door. Now if you want to be really really stealthy and hitman like, you don't need to pacify or hurt anybody besides the target. You can bring that little explosive that opens locked doors and you can just open the door that way. But it's a little bit trickier, you gotta be stealthy, and honestly, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, I'm feeling a little bit lazy today, I don't really want to take any risks with the elusive target today. So I'm just gonna play it safe. I'll subdue a few targets, no worries. There's a camera right here. And there is one more security guard inside the room itself, and I'm gonna get rid of him. And again, you can leave him without being hurt. And you could still do the mission. But I just want to do this the simple, secure, safe way. Alright, so I'll subdue him as well. Now once you take care of these three security guards, you're pretty much home free for the most part. There's nobody else that's going to ruin your day. The two hackers are in this little room. And they're just hacking away. But they don't mind you being in here for some reason. They're kind of stuck in the door there. That's kind of weird. So the protagonist is the one on the left with the white jacket. Copying the public key won't do anything. We need to encode the redundant XML cache. White cap, let's take five. And obviously white cap is a guy with a white cap. And these two will just talk nerd talk between themselves. Some little coding stuff. 
who cares? So, I'll listen for a couple of lines, but then I'll poison his jam and get out of here. But they don't leave this room. Looks like they're going back to work. And I'll poison the jam. Window opening. Transaction sequence. Using an open network. Scrubs. This phone won't know the difference between this virus and a software update. Okay, that's a whole set done. Let's take five. White cap, watch the feeds though. I wanna be hot if we get another spike. Now you can kill him a variety of ways. You can do the poison syringe, you can subdue him, you can shoot him. But I just want to poison the jam because that's kind of fun. You can delete the evidence in that room as well. Now, the good thing about poisoning the jam is he's not going to eat it right away. So it gives you time to escape this because you can still get caught by security guards on your way out. And obviously, if you've already killed the target and you get caught, you're kind of screwed. This gives you the opportunity to make your escape. And if you screw anything up, you can still restart the mission. But once you make it to this door, you're basically home free. And I'm just going to go out the front door because that's the way I roll. I like to go in style. Plus, I also think it's a little bit poetic to get him to eat his favorite dish and then croak over that way. I think it's the most fun way to kill the target in my opinion. Even if I don't get to watch him die. Now from this point, it's basically random as to how long I'm going to have to wait for him to eat his poison food. I don't know. I'm expecting maybe five minutes tops. I don't know. So I'll get up here to the front entrance and then I might do a little bit of editing if it takes too long for him to croak over and die. But either way, as soon as he dies, I'll be right by the exit, and I'll make my escape, and it'll be smooth as butter. So here we are, and actually the targets are right up there. Right up there. Can't see them with my instinct, but that's where they're hacking away. So I guess I'll just wait a little bit, I'll edit if I have to, and we'll see what happens. All right, this guy's taking forever. Let me go see what's going on up here. It's been five minutes, it looks like. All right, so there they are. You can see their silhouettes. It looks like they're at the little hacking station. All right, we'll see what happens. I might do more editing again. I don't know. Okay, looks like he's moving. And I think that's where the jam is. Yeah, it looks like he's going for it. He's gonna die. There it is. Contracts complete. There it is, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this elusive target. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.